Hey, what's up guys? I hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So hey guys, this is technically a new artist to the channel. This is Jenny Vall. This is a request of the song Spells for screen name Katape. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Um, so I have heard of Jenny Vall in a roundabout way. I did a reaction, a request to Calandra covering a song of hers called Grizzly Man. And, uh, uh, Jenny did that song using uh, the pseudonym Rocket to the Sky, um, and that was a great song. I, I listened to the cover first for the reaction, then I went um, on my own and listened to the actual Rocket to the Sky song, and it was great. Um, so I kind of have a, an idea of what to expect here. Of course, that's just only one song, but you know, I, I feel like I have a generalized idea. Um, so, uh, yeah, if anyone doesn't know, Jenny is a Norwegian singer-songwriter, um, and she does pop and synth-pop music. She can be pretty experimental. Not that I know that much about her. This is just the info I pulled from Google when I did the reaction to Calandra. I kind of mentioned that as well. So, um, yeah, this is, again, this is the song Spells. I looked at the lyrics, and, <clears throat> man, she can get deep. These are some very good lyrics. I wasn't quite sure what to make of this. Um, Reading parts of this, I thought it was about um, going into battle and dying. But then there's other parts about other things. So I wanted to see what she had to say about it. And um, she said um, that the song is basically, it does touch on death, but it's also akin to, there's parts in the song that are akin to uh, a lover making plans with another lover for the weekend. Um, let me just read parts of this for you. So, um Seaweed undresses in the air, and they get tangled in your hair. But you'll always stand the victors exercising everything by tapping into nothing. There's another field. Your distances are vast. I know who you are. Open up to me so I can close them out. You will not be awake for long. You won't have to wait for long. Uh, we'll meet in the smallest great unknown. So, yeah. Um, if anyone has any uh, specific... Uh, information on the meaning of this or how you know that what your interpretation is let me know I'd be curious to see that so uh, without further ado I'm excited to get into this again this is Jenny Vall spells Build up. Hold on, let me just stop for a moment, guys, and take stock of this. Um, wow, this sounds excellent. This sounds like a, a nice blend of a couple different things here, man. Um, using actual horn instruments, um, obviously, for a lot of people, that makes you think of jazz. So I get a little jazz feeling on this, a little indie, um, a little bit of folk, too. And um, Man, that underlying uh, synth beat is just so tasty and juicy. I, I just, I could listen to that forever. Um, her vocal is very soft-spoken over this so far and beautiful. Um, I really like this a lot. Um, 
I don't think I've ever heard anything like this before. Um, not even uh, within any of those other genres I mentioned. This is like a new thing for me, uh, this blend of what I'm hearing here. I'm very impressed, man. I like this. Let's keep going. Pretty sure I was like just speechless most of that. Um, please don't take that as a sign I didn't like it. I absolutely love this. What it was just so captivating. I um, a captivating video and a captivating song. This is so different than anything I've ever heard before, man. Um, wow. I think in the beginning, before the song started, I mentioned that um, I saw on Google that she can get experimental. This is experimental to me, at least. Um, Keep in mind, I'm not the most fluent in pop or synth pop, uh, more so since starting this reaction channel and getting to experience amazing things like this. But 
to me, this feels pretty unique. I don't think this is the norm. I think she's pretty uh, uh, in her own class uh, from what I heard uh, from this song. This was amazing, man. Um, God, what a blend of genres. You know, there's a little jazz in there. Uh, you know, pop. They, they had some, uh, a little bit of folk in there a little bit. Um, wow, this was great. Uh, her voice is so beautiful too on that chorus where she was saying the line, you won't have to wait for long. Um, if I were to try to take a stab at the meaning of this, um, I was getting a couple vibes on this that this might be uh, about drug use. And, and in one part, you know, she was bringing that suitcase up to the rest of her party friends there. And when she opened it up, I actually thought it was going to be, I only saw like, you know, a side profile of it and I thought it was cocaine or something. So um, I think maybe that's what the, you know, the stand-in of using uh, marshmallows was um, to signify a, you know, metaphor for drugs. But um, maybe it's also about loneliness because, um, and drug use, I don't know, because in the end she's by herself. And I don't know if that was showing that she was just, uh, you know, using a substance to kind of uh, put her in a different world into where she thought there was people there. Um, what a fascinating song and video, man. Um, absolutely love this. This was so, so different. I can't stress how, how unique this was to me, man. Um, and again, that beat that was just going throughout was just so tasty and juicy. I could, I could feel it. It was such a good beat. Uh, very understated, nothing, the only uh, instruments that kind of took, I think took center stage on this was uh, the keyboard, the synth stuff, synth stuff, and um, her vocals, and the horn instruments, but that beat never got too loud. Um, God, I love this, this was great. I would be down to hear more, and uh, I know, uh, again, if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm sorry, but Catape, if you... I know you requested some other uh, songs of hers. We'll get there. We'll check them out. I definitely love her sound and am totally happy to keep going uh, down this road. So um, if anyone has not heard her, please go check her out. Um, I do have that other reaction to, you know, Calandra's cover of one of her songs under the name Rocket to the Sky. So um, I would recommend hearing the actual song. You don't have to watch my reaction, but uh, listen to the actual song. And... Um, if you made it this far into the video, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for enjoying some good music with me. We'll see you guys in the next one.